everyone, I hope you're all doing well, and it's great to see you all watching today, as I will be talking about the 20 miles per hour law in Wales, and give you my thoughts about this legislation that screws motorists and commuters alike. So I hope you all enjoy, or at least find this video informative. But first, a thank you to the man of many faces, Nath and Zeus, for suggesting the topic of this video. For more videos like these, be sure to subscribe, because the truth is reality-based. Now for those who are unaware, providing context courtesy of the Daily Post, quote, The decision to change most 30 mile per hour limits in Wales to 20 miles per hour has been a major source of controversy across Wales in recent months. The policy was introduced by the Welsh Labour government because evidence suggests lowering the speed limit will have a considerable impact on road safety, with up to 20,000 fewer casualties over the next decade. The change has been supported by the health service and the emergency services, but a new poll produced exclusively for Wales Online by Redfield and Wilton Strategies showed there was a huge opposition to the limit in Wales. According to the poll, all age groups in Wales have a higher percentage opposing the policy than supporting it. However, as a general trend, the older a person is, the more likely they are to oppose the policy. Younger people are more likely to neither support or oppose it. You can see the results right here on the screen. Plaid Cymru supporters were more likely to support the introduction of the 20 mile per hour limit than opposing it, unlike Wales as a whole. That really does describe the Welsh nationalists quite well. While Labour voters were more likely to oppose this law, 54% compared to the 34% of Labour voters who supported it, though overwhelmingly the biggest difference was that of the Conservative voters, among whom 70% oppose this law compared to the 20% who support it. Perhaps the most interesting thing was the opposition among people who did not vote. The policy was a manifesto commitment from Labour, but 57% of people who didn't vote strongly opposed this policy. Unquote. Which seems like a comprehensive description of this situation, and with graphs to boot. At least in my view. And speaking of my views, now on to my personal views regarding the 20 mile per hour law in Wales. Now folks, personally, I was aware of this law, despite the fact that I do not drive, prior to the suggestions of the man of many faces, Nath, and his doggy, Zeus. Thanks again to you all, because this is an important issue in regards to a debate between those who use transport and those in the healthcare system. So after a bit of investigating, which mostly consists of internet browsing and analysis of social media, all the while looking into this law in question, I do not agree with this 20 mile per hour law in Wales. As someone who was born, bred and living in Wales, mainly because of the transport and logistical issues that such a speed limit causes, even for a country as small and as peripheral as Wales. From late buses to heavy goods vehicles not arriving on time, to workers being late for their jobs, getting up earlier and arriving later, because of this law. It really goes to show that there is such a thing as the law of unintended consequences. To me, this 20 mile per hour law in Wales is a health and safety overreach that damages our environment, mainly because stopping and starting vehicles makes them less reliable and less efficient, leading to more emissions, both directly on the road and indirectly in repair bays. Also, this law is damaging our economy. Roads are like blood vessels, folks, in the body that is this country while the vehicles are the blood cells. Slowing them down to the point of stopping them and causing them to break is far from being at peak efficiency. It is, in short, a recipe for disaster, especially for motorists and commuters who have to go long distances across the country. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, accidents happen, and will still happen 
even with this law in place, human nature and even autonomous vehicles do not have a 100% success rate, and never will. By prioritizing safety and security over the economy, the environment, logistics, and most importantly for politicians, public opinion, it's going to cause even more opposition to this Welsh Labour government, to the point of losing their majority rule. Hopefully this policy will be scrapped, though that does not seem likely. This is because of the track record of a Welsh Labour government that has always done what it wants and always ends up getting re-elected, be it in a majority or in a coalition with the Welsh Nationalists, also known as Plaid Cymru. For 24 years, since I was six months old, Labour has been in power in Wales. The Welsh people do not want, and I don't believe ever will want, a Conservative government, while the Welsh Nationalists have always supported Labour. This law is one such example of that. Therefore, there is no effective opposition in Wales, the country of my birth, the country I was bred in, and the country that I still live in to this day. So no wonder such ideas as these are put into practice. You never know, folks. Maybe what my country needs is a force that does whatever it takes to ensure that Wales can succeed. And for that, it needs to be reality-based. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel that bears my name. Because the truth is reality-based. And check you are still subscribed, folks, because YouTube likes keeping more independent and up-and-coming content creators down while propping up the dying establishment, as well as their allies in the mainstream media. You can also find me on social media, be it on Twitter, Instagram, Rumble, and Kick2. All the links are in the description down below, where you can join me in defending reality and being based in doing so. Suggestions for videos like this one are always welcome in the comments section down below, and so I shall end this video by wishing you all a great day. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, and no other genders, binaries, tranny demons, or full-blown AIDS demons, bye for now, folks.